Now, folks, this is important. Um, this is important stuff. As you know, uh, Dave Rubin uh, conser- uh, has joined the conservative um, online conservative network that uh, launched such people as um, uh, Gavin McGinnis, uh, that um, promotes the homophobia of Stephen Crowley or Crowder, Stephen Crowder. Crowder. Um, and um, he is uh, here. Is uh, Dave Rubin returning to the grid after thirty-three days? I haven't been paying attention to anything at all. No, he does not look relaxed. And um, he is talking about this new technology that he's developed, <laughs> that is basically Patreon, but uh, just for himself, <laughs> and how he is going to open up and. Now, folks, the the gist here is for uh, for Dave Rubin is uh, that um, well, um, you know, the uh, that he's going to keep the trolls out, and uh, we're going to address that. But, he, but here's Dave Rubin. People have Patreon, all that. So the big debate, which philosophically, which we've hit on here a couple times, for me has been. Do you get the government involved or not? So without rehashing that whole conversation, and you know my preference is that I would not want that, I did what I thought was the right thing, which is I started a tech company about six months ago, and we got, I went to literally one investor, one investor, I got investment, I started it with a a really great startup guy that I know, um, and we are building a seriously awesome, what will first be a Rubin Report app. So we're building it because what I thought was, I can't solve everyone's problems first. Mm -hmm. I want to solve my problem first. I want to make sure I can always communicate with my audience. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure my audience can communicate with me. I want to make sure my videos can be... So what what he needs is some form of like uh, a communication that goes back and forth. But I am not going to cut it. Uh, Neither phones. Uh, There's got to be something like like a forum. A forum. We're going to develop something like a forum, but it's going to be better than that. It's going to be like a, like a private forum, like almost like a, it's going to be discordant in some way. It's going to be like a discord. This is literally listening to him talk is like, is like a conversation about like the founding of like the well community in the 1980s. If it was done by an incredibly stupid person, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's like technology like- being envisioned that doesn't exist yet by an idiot. Um, I think it's because his Reddit looks something like this with things like oh, this at the top. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Keep okay. that, keep that. You keep, keep, don't, don't, don't step on this. Let's start with this. <laughs> so here he is. This is like, imagine, this is like what you're about to hear now. And it's, he describes his new technology that he's developed. <laughs> it's literally like me showing up one day and going, folks, I've got a new idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a backdrop behind me. And I'm going to get a microphone and I'm going to opine about various different things. And I'm going to do it every day at the same time. We're going to stream it live through video. And that's what we've developed. But here he goes can't solve everyone's problems first. Mm -hmm. I want to solve my problem first. I want to make sure I can always communicate with my audience. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure my audience can communicate with me. I want to make sure my videos can be posted and if people Mm -hmm. actually subscribe, they can see them and not Mm -hmm. be manipulated. I want to figure out ways to have real community building where audience members can communicate with each other without fear of censorship or being destroyed. I want to figure out how to monetize that properly so that subscribers, because you know, if you have a subscription service, You've eliminated 99% Pause it for of the one trolls second, because you can say... Now, he, he said, I want to learn how to monetize that properly. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what that means. I mean, the membership model is pretty well set. I mean, is he talking about he wants uh, smaller processing fees? or? But we find out what it... Monetizing it properly means may, figure a price point that will make it hard for people who want to troll me. But... <laughs> Because look at, let's go to his Reddit thing. This is the problem. This is really the problem that Dave Rubin has. In his own Reddit, it's not, he doesn't own it, but it was one that was supposedly built to uh, promote him. 
uh, people are mocking him constantly, which is really rude. Things like, LOL, how can a grown adult working in media current events go off the grid? You can t- you truly tell how much Dave Rubin cares about what's going on in the world, that he goes off the grid and doesn't watch the news once. What an effing moron. Uh, Steven Crowder still thinks li- Hitler was a liberal socialist. Uh, Ruben panders to his boomer MAGA audience with the lame plastic straw joke. Um, let's see what else he's got. Definitely not staged. Yes, I was truly off the grid with no phone or news for 33 days. Right. Okay. I mean, this is his fans. Um, but let's go back. Let's, we need to hold on. Uh, let's let this run a little bit. Subscribe. They can see them and not be mm-hmm. manipulated. I want to figure out ways to have real community building where audience members can communicate with each other without fear of censorship or being Correct. destroyed. I want to figure out how to monetize that properly so that subscribers, because you know, if you have a subscription service, you've eliminated 99% of the trolls because you can say a lot of things about the trolls, but the trolls are cheap. So. And the trolls are not, nobody's going to pay me to troll me. But if you subscribe to me, they just, will. But well, if you do, <laughs> guess what? I'm not creating a platform for everyone where I'm going to be hurting your free speech. I just won't take your money and bye bye, you're gone. So I think. Okay, pause it. Now, wait a second. Didn't he just say 15, 20 seconds earlier that we're going to have a way of communicating without any censorship or anything like that? I mean, didn't he just say that? And so now he's saying that, well, I'm going to weed out the trolls. Now, look, folks, I'm not going to promise anything right now because I want to see what these price points are. (laughs) But I think it's very possible that what we're going to do, because, look, I feel somewhat responsible because I think, you know, we here at this show and you've used this platform in some way to... um, to, at the very least, force Dave to come clean with the fact that he's actually, you know, a conservative. Or at the very least, his show, I don't know what he is in his personal life. I don't know if he has any... I'm uh, married to a man. Yeah, no, <laughs> Without getting into identity politics... I'm gay married. Uh, without getting into identity politics, he definitely shares some libertarian um, uh, philosophies. Uh, but his show is geared towards presenting primarily uh, conservative views. I mean, that's why he's on the blaze. And uh, if that in any way inhibited his financial growth, I feel horrible about it. And so what we are probably going to do, and we need to wait until the app is rolled out, is I think every week, we're, maybe we'll do a little contest or something where someone wins a, uh, a six-month membership to the Dave Rubin Show. <laughs> Competition would start kicking in. That's right. And um, we're going to do that. We, we may do that for, you know, a couple, <laughs> couple of months. It's going to cost some money. It's going to cut into the college uh, fund for the kids. But um, I'm sorry, Myla. I'm sorry, I had to sweetheart. terrorize this moron, yeah, yeah. Dave Rubin. But yeah, he was look, so look, stupid. It listen, was so fun. It I'm helped not, Dad's algorithm. Listen, I'm not we'll going see. to. I'm not going to. I read the next week crushing does, the op- a competition. That anybody does anything other than enjoy the show, get in there and leave some comments. And if they're positive comments, yeah, build great. community. Build some build community. community. Now, Explore. look. There's also, there's also been talk that what will happen is people will join his uh, Discord or whatever it is and be like a sleeper cell and, you know, just inhabit there for a couple of weeks or months and then start doing it. And look, I understand. I don't think this is going to be a problem. A lot of people have said to me like, oh, but wait a second. If Dave thinks there's a bunch of people in his Discord that are actually like trolls, he's going to have a trigger hair finger to ban people who criticize him at all. And that he could get confused. He could actually be banning some of his own fans. And Hello. I just, I just don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, he's banning them for freedom of speech. I mean, do we think if trolls are cheap, do we think this community costs more or less than a billboard in Los Angeles? Well, I mean, the billboard, I think, already happened uh, uh, in this instance. 
it that's would what be I'm interesting. saying. But yeah. just to give you a sense of, of Dave's emotional state yeah. with regards to the Reddit, I think we, this this exchange that I just sent you guys between James Damor innocently questioning Dave Rubin and Dave's now response. James Damore is the Google guy. The Google guy. And were they on it? Was Damore on his show? Yes. Okay. Check this out. First thirteen seconds. Yeah, I, I, I saw your I saw your people? subreddit, and they they seemed sort of angry. I don't know. Well, I don't even want to get into that. There, there, there were that wasn't my uh, my own thing. All right, oh, really? yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> hey, <laughs> man, warning! Contents under pressure. The bullprog on YouTube. This is bullprog, the very talented bullprog. Oh, that was all the way from January. That's who did the uh, MR Fun uh, mix on. He was trying to do That's the Ferris That's a good beat sample. Oh, wow. All right. And so